I'm now talking to Tamas Jakel from Hungary, who is one of the four judges judging the early sections of the Yukonuba World Challenge here in Orlando, Florida. Thomas, you've been a very successful breeder. You travel the world judging dogs. Uh, I think it would be fair to say that you would notice that there are, in some breeds, certain basic type differences between the dogs that you find in the United States and the dogs that you see in Europe, where you live. How do you actually manage as a judge? Do you have to adjust your eye, or how does it work? So you're certainly right, because in different continents, uh, we have different types of the same breeds. So when you do the breed first time in those continents, I don't think so you will do the best job. Because uh, to do a good job, you have to understand all the, all the types. Because if you find a dog which is typeless, just an in-between type, you don't do a good job. So we have to understand all the existing types. And, of course, we all think we do know which is the real type, but it doesn't mean we have to kill the other type because it can happen in the future. We need the type we don't really like, but uh, in order the health of the dog or any other functional question, we need to these types to exist. Because as a breeder, I think I'm right in saying that you've incorporated bloodlines from a variety of diff a variety of different countries into your own breeding program. So how does that work? So if you choose the right stocks for breeding, it works very well. But you have to have a, a sort of feeling which dog you have to use, and you can combine these bloodlines very successfully. But of course, some luck included in this job as well. Yeah, well, we all certainly need a helping of luck. As far as the Yukonuba World Challenge is concerned, how do you see this event and, and this weekend? I mean, this show is a la creme de la creme in every view because all the famous dogs from all over the world are here. And why I'm very thankful to the AKC. Because in nowadays, there are several dog organizations in the world and they can um, discuss about their own importance, who is more important than the other one. And this event is not about this. So AKC is generous enough to create an evening when FCI, AKC, the CKC, Australia, New Zealand and the Kennel Club is participating and now we can really recognize that we belong together. Very much uh, thankful because of, the kennel, uh, because of that for the AKC. So a pat on the back for the American Kennel Club there and richly deserved if I may say so. And thank you very much for talking to me, Thomas. We're all going to be looking forward to see which of those three dogs you point to later on this evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.